that's the section of the booms and the gaffs that we're hoping to make. This is a, a bit of a reject because the the slot in the top isn't very even and one side of the spar is actually thicker than the other. So that was a, a rejected piece from a, a while ago. And the grooves in the top are for the sail. That's a sort of section of the sail with the luff rope or foot rope sewn in. And that just slides in there and locates and obviously doesn't pull out. So that's what we're up to making. Um, we're just sawing up some Douglas fir, Colombian pine, uh, into roughly sort of two inches by one inch sections. We'll run them through the planer to give us a, a smooth inner face. Then we'll do a bit of routering, router the shapes we want into each piece. Then we'll glue them together and then we'll plane up and shape up the outsides. Because it's a, a class dinghy, we've got class rules over the final finish size. So we leave it all slightly oversized and then trim it up last. And then round the corners, sand it all up, and we've got our spars. Here we are, we've got our pile of uh, roughly two by one bits of Colombian pine or Douglas fir. We're actually making two booms and two gaffs, hopefully today. Um, that's why we've got so many pieces of timber. We've got eight pieces of timber. And it's just a question of pairing them up um, for size, grain, that sort of thing curve obviously if we've got two pieces that are curved hopefully when we glue them together they'll end up straight we'll glue them onto a, a straight bulk of timber anyway to get the best result we can but it's just a matter of going through them and, and pairing them up really we've got one good at least one good face on each piece and this is going to be the face that we're going to work on with the router, putting the little keyhole slot in, half of it in one piece, half of it in the other, then sandwiching it together. Those don't seem too bad as a pair. Just mark those up so we know which bits we're working on. I think. Um, because several of these pieces were cut off the same strip of timber, 
what we'll actually do with one of these is turn it end for end because that will then reverse the grain and hopefully keep the finished spar more stable. They look good. See there, that one's got quite a curve in in it, but um, if we can find a similar one going the opposite way, that one there's got a, a similar natural curve the other way. I think those two will go together. Just looking at this piece, it's got quite a bit of sideways curve as well. Hopefully that will get straightened out, but if, if there's a little bit that remains, then we want that to be the top of the, the boom or the after edge of the gaff. Um, so we'll just make sure that the, the slot we cut is actually on this side of that piece of timber but we should end up with a pretty straight spar at the end of it. What's that? We want about a three, maybe four millimetre at the most slot in the top for our sailcloth to slide into and then at least a sort of 10 millimetre diameter slot below that, maybe a fraction deeper or wider, deeper as we cut it in each piece. So we're looking in half of this piece to make this our first cut with a router. With just a straight cutter in it and the guide fence attached and we're looking this is our half of our spar so what we want to do is come in here with the router and just cut a millimetre and a half say deep this way and down about six or eight mil So we've got our router bit in place, we've got our fence attached, we've got to adjust the fence and then we'll make a, a little practice cut on the end and, and give it a measure and make sure we're doing the right thing. It's almost two millimetres, so that's probably a little bit more than we want. So we just close the fence down a fraction. The timber we, we've got here, it's all about a foot longer than it needs to be, so we've got a few inches at each end we can play with. It also gives us a little bit of flexibility then if one of the ends splits or um, the cutter of the router slips as we come to the end of a piece of wood, we can always shorten our spar to the correct size. That's looking pretty good. So hopefully we can just Whiz that down the length of our timber and we're on the way. So 
That's that one done. So now we marked this edge to be the one to be cut here. So just means working the other way with the router. Telling will be just to put the two pieces together. It does look to be nearer four millimeters and three millimeters, but uh, Yeah, just under four millimetres, so that gives us plenty of room for our sailcloth. <laughs> 